Okay, we'll get started. <laughs> Parents, family and friends, welcome and thank you for joining us uh, for the welcome for the Options Academy graduation ceremony for the class of 2022. My name is Rich Blonigan. Uh, I am the Administrator of Alternative Programming, uh, and uh, it's my honor to support uh, Options uh, Academy Programming. I'm excited to be here with all of you today and celebrate the great accomplishment by this class of 2022. Absolutely. <laughs> Next, I want to recognize our guests on stage this morning. Uh, Dewana Bradley, school board member, Matt Smith, associate superintendent, Samantha Mesa, our guest speaker, Ella Fredrickson and Jasmine Woods, our senior speakers, and Ryan Ely, our counselor. Round of applause, please. So with that, I'll turn it over to Ryan. I like that, get the nerves out. <laughs> Welcome, class of 2022. My name is Ryan Ely and I'm the counselor here at Options Academy and I would like to begin by sharing a quote. Life, be life becomes more meaningful when you realize the simple fact that you'll never get that same moment twice. I'm gonna read it one more time. Life becomes more meaningful when you realize the simple fact that you'll never get the same moment twice. This day and this moment is yours. You have worked for it and you have earned it. And for most of you, it was not easy to get here to be with us today. I wanna to take a moment and reflect on what it took for you to get here, and I say that with the heaviest heart. We know you, we know your story, we know your history, we know your struggle, and what you have needed to overcome to be with us today. The option staff would like to recognize your perseverance, your resiliency, and most importantly, your ability to keep moving forward despite everything that life threw at you. I've had the privilege of meeting students uh, during their orientation to come to options, tracking their progress as they pass the test, and then completing their graduation checkout once they finish. When you first came to us, you were not on track to graduate, behind in credits. Many of you had lost hope, and you hadn't had the best high school experience. When you came to us and you passed your first high set, the moment felt surreal to many of you. It was like you did the impossible. After you passed the second high set, something happened. Next page. <laughs> there was a smile. And most importantly, there was a belief in your ability that you had lost along the way. I'm gonna say that again. A change happened, right? And there was a belief in your ability that you had lost along the way that you can be successful and that you can achieve great things. After the third high set, the question wasn't, would I or will I graduate? But instead you would say, when I graduate. After the fourth test, you were confident and now you're thinking beyond graduation. What else can I do and what else can I accomplish in my life? Once students got to the fifth test, it was like another day in the office. At this point, you're confident, successful, and you believe in yourself and your ability. Some of you actually didn't take a high set. You had a different pathway, and we certainly didn't want to forget about you, but your journey has led you to the same destination. All of your transformations have been astonishing and a true pleasure to watch. To watch. Um, parents out there, um, hopefully you have seen and you felt this transformation because it has been beautiful, remarkable, and amazing. Like I shared at the beginning, life becomes more meaningful when you realize the simple fact that you'll never get the same moment twice. This day and this moment, it's yours. Cherish it. Enjoy it. You have earned it. You have worked for it. And lastly, we recognize you, your perseverance, your resiliency, and most importantly, and this skill will, will take you a long way in life, your ability to keep moving forward no matter what life throws at you. So, 
Class of 2022, congratulations, thank you, and you will be missed. I'm going to go ahead and introduce our class speaker and Ella Fredrickson. Will you please come up to the podium? Hi, everybody. Um, thank you for coming. Uh, it means a lot that you're here. Uh, class of 22, we made it. <laughs> we did it. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I honestly didn't think that I would. Um, the thing about us is every single one of us is different in so many ways. But we all have one thing in common, and that's that we didn't fit the mold of, you know, general high school for whatever reason. And that's okay, because we found options. And with options, we were given a space to be ourselves and take the time that we needed, and I think that we're really lucky. Um, I have a poem that I wrote that I'd like to share. Um, what are you supposed to do when life grabs a hold of all your limbs and ligaments and pulls you through every predicament? Twisting, stretching, bending, and breaking through every choice creating dissonance. What are you supposed to do when you trip over your own shoes and no one's there to catch you, your shins all scraped and bleeding? You fell behind because life is speeding, but you pick yourself up and keep proceeding. Life will let you prune in the mud if you don't realize that you are not stuck. But that's a choice for you to make. There's unlimited options, make no mistake. Remind yourself that it's okay to break. As long as you pick yourself up, never try to fit the mold. Always paint over your chips and cracks with gold. Let yourself fall, let yourself heal, and take time to experience things that are real. Thank you. Next, I'd like to introduce our second student speaker, Jasmine Woods. Good morning, everyone. How are we? First off, I'd like to congratulate all of our option seniors, including myself, for being able to walk this stage today with pride and honor and to be able to call ourselves the official Options Academy graduating class of 2022. I would also like to thank our wonderful teachers for taking a big part in us graduating today. We could not have done it without you. For those of you, oh. for those of you who don't know me, hi, my name is Jasmine Woods, and I transferred to Options Academy in late 2021. I can tell you on a personal level that without making that decision, I would not be standing here giving this speech today. I've struggled with education for the entirety of my years at school, which essentially led me down a dark pathway with none other than a horrific destination to the god-awful pits of mental health issues. Eventually, I found myself failing in every aspect of my life, but my biggest shortcoming being school. That is, until I found options. Not only has this school helped me immensely with my schooling, but has also given me hope for my future and faith in myself, and I'm sure the rest of our graduates can relate. Furthermore, graduates, we've come a long way. Now, th now the time has come for us to venture off into this so little yet so big world of ours and find our passions. There will be challenges and there will be obstacles, but the main thing to remember is that the struggle you're in today is developing the strength you need for tomorrow. When we walk out of this building today, I want you all to keep your chin up, your head held high, and smile with honor. With that being said, always remember to stay humble and never forget where you came from, and just like the great, emphasis on great, J. Cole said, there is no such thing as a life that's better than yours. Thank you.
Next, I have the pleasure of introducing today's speaker. Samantha Mesa has covered the news from the five boroughs of New York to the Texas-Mexico border and is now the evening anchor and journalist for the We Are Iowa Five in Des Moines. Ms. Mesa's career has taken her through the years of news stories that are important to the community where she lives. From coverage of the daycare crisis in our state, natural disasters, the opiate crisis, and her first introduction to the Iowa State Fair last year, Samantha has spent time with students at Options. She's involved, she's involved in our community and shares her motivation and love of life with those around, around her. Please join me in welcoming Samantha Mesa. Okay, I'm gonna give you a little disclaimer. You gotta bear with me. I, uh, when I, last month, when I got sick with COVID, it took the hearing out of my right ear. So I'm still adjusting to being partially deaf. So just extend me some grace. If I, if I pause, if I lose my train of thought, uh, it's still an adjustment for me, but I'm really happy to be here today. Almost didn't happen for that reason. And I'm just really glad to be here. Um, I feel like I'm in the most incredible company um, and I'll share with you a little bit why uh, my background but yeah I just ask for your patience with me as this is a new experience uh, speaking in front of people not being able to hear out of one here ear but y'all know here you're here today because you've overcome challenges so we're gonna do this. Uh, I wanna thank you for choosing me to be your speaker today. And Lynn, I thank you so much for reaching out to me. So I also just wanna begin this ceremony taking a moment uh, to honor the children and the teachers who lost their lives in the Uvalde school shooting in Texas. Coming from the border, um, I know a lot of people grieving in those communities right now. So I ask that you just join me in a moment of silence for the little ones. And with that, I just want to thank you for giving them and their families our respect today. Today is about celebrating education. Talk about a pivot from what the events we've seen unfold this week. Um, I've had to do this quite a bit more recently, so I'll let everybody just take a breath. Breathe in, breathe out, really celebrate this moment. It's an achievement and just you're standing, you're sitting in excellence right now. This is your family, your closest circles. I hope you've been thanking those around you today, your friends, your teachers, and also take the time to thank yourself for not giving up, for pushing through. Because y'all had to show up to class every day. Y'all had to do the work studying at home. And take a minute to think of all the stress you have been through to get here. This is no easy feat. You're overcomers in every way. Being here today reminds me of my own struggle to get an education. Uh, my dad passed away from cancer when I was in college, and I had to take a break from school to just support my mom and my brothers. I come from a big family. I have five younger brothers and two older siblings, but at that point in time, I was the most responsible next go-to sibling to help out. So we were on food stamps. We lost our home. Things really just seemed to be working against me to get my education. So by the grace of God and a lot of support, I got through and I found a support system on campus to graduate. So even when life seems to be crashing down, you all know this, character is what will set your paths apart and really keep you from spiraling. And I think you also know too, when you do spiral, you kind of got to see the moment for what it is and get yourself the help that you need. These students here have the grit, and they decided to show up even when life got tough at home, in the world. We've all been going through it. Those hard times, getting beaten down, crushed down, hardened, that's the same way diamonds are formed. The stronger the battle, the bigger the testimony, right? So we learn from those low points, that's also a choice, and we can use it as just the nourishment to shine brighter as diamonds, because we're all a diamond waiting to be heard. I know you all know that, each and every one of you. That's what your teachers have 
been investing in you this whole year. You all have a unique power to everyone who's been through some hard times and doesn't know how they're going to get through. So it's a part of passing the baton. Uh, your struggle is not in vain. So some of you are working jobs. Some of you have had to overcome traumatic experiences. And really the battle in your head is what got you here today or what was supposed to not get you here today. You shifted the narrative and you're here. So today I just want to encourage you all to really enjoy this day. You're all here because of circumstances and challenges in your lives that have forced you to figure out an alternative route to get your diploma. You're overcomers just by being here, ready to get out that acknowledgement and the support that you did it. How good does that feel? You, put the, you beat the odds stacked against you and you put in the work to figure it out. And so when Lynn approached me to give you your speech today, I was just honored, kind of shocked. <laughs> uh, she saw a Facebook post I shared after I reconnected with a college mentor who got me through those college years that I just shared. Her name is Teresa. I call her Mother Teresa because of how selfless she gives of her time and her energy to help us who are the underdogs. So we're the fighters, and in much of our education, we had to dig and scrap and push for that study time. So we all know of Mother Teresa, right? The woman who gave her life to orphans. Teresa, in Denver, Colorado, where I was raised, was that person for me. I couldn't have graduated without her. And now you're probably wondering why. So I had shared a bit of my experience on Facebook. Um, the, there was the years in college that were very challenging, but it's also my background, my upbringing that I shared even before getting to college. So I was the first woman in my family to graduate college, and that's after being homeschooled for much of my life. And so Lynn read that, and she graciously reached out to me, asking me to be a part of this day as you all move forward into the next phase of your lives. So in my post, I shared a little bit about my life, and it's not always been easy, that's to put it mildly, but I still managed to do hard things and find success. And that is what you all need to keep that momentum today. She said this testimony that I shared along with the motivational messages that I post every day would be great for all of you. And in those messages that I post every day, those are about mindset and the power of choice and intention when you're starting your day. Because let's be real, that is good for us no matter what stage of life we're in. It's really about building mental strength and then being thankful for what you have in this moment, even if things feel like they're crumbling around you. And then it's also pushing yourself to grow and get stronger in your work, whatever you're passionate about. So I'm here today to pump you up and just celebrate you with some honest <laughs> encouragement and real talk for how to support yourselves moving forward. It's a huge day for all of you. And maybe at a point, you didn't think this day would come. And at some time, I'm sure many of us are processing a lot right now with the last week of news. Trust me, delivering the news is not easy some days right now. It hasn't been for over two years. This week in particular was soul crushing. On top of the past couple of years of the pandemic, you guys have been navigating a lot. It is unprecedented territory that we don't know what you're going through, going through get, getting through your diploma. Uh, so my message to you today is really when you wake up every morning, believe that you have the power in your mind. If you just pause, take a moment, tell yourself you're going to have a good day. You're going to do things that will help you have a good day. And when you look at your goals, your job, if you're going to college, trade school, internships, whatever it is, decide that you're going to give the day your best, and your best is gonna look different depending on what you're going through. But when you go on to the next steps in your life, also I really encourage you to just find a mentor, someone who you respect, who's successful in something that inspires you, something you wanna do. Find someone who you want to be like and ask them to teach you how they did it. A mentor can be a game changer if you make the time to build that relationship. And then set goals for yourself, goals for the day. Like let's break it down to when life is going haywire and you have a hard time getting out of bed, just set goals for the day, then the week, then the month, and years from now. This helps you set up tangible steps to move forward in your life and give yourself things to get excited about and then go after it. 
So no matter how hard the days get, learn to see that you have the control over your brain of how you respond to whatever's happening around you. We're living in a very crazy world right now. And our brains believe what we tell them. So if we're stressed and worried about things that we have to do, people we have to interact with, bills we have to pay, the brain responds in panic and then it tells us, don't do that, wall, shut down. It's about instincts to just keep us alive to the basics, but see the power that you have in how you approach the day and then go after what you believe in, what makes you feel most purposeful. And I will give you an example of something that I just had to figure out recently. So I got COVID back in April. Don't worry, I don't have COVID now. It attacked my eardrum. And so working in live TV news, losing hearing is basically like losing the ability to do my job that I've invested the last 10 years of my life in. So it was very scary and it took a lot of time and honestly soul searching. Sitting alone in my apartment, um, I figured out how to do newscasts partially deaf. A lot of anxiety came with that, with how I could pull it off. Uh, but I'm on my second week back, this being a Friday of just Whew. done shows after shows after shows. Um, I am a work in progress, but I will say it took very, very, very deliberate decision to not get overcome by anxiety, wondering if I could return to work. Instead, I just had to tell myself and my team at Local 5, I'm going to learn a new way of being. It's a very new sensory experience. It's been challenging, but I'm learning how to give the news with one deaf ear. And I say this to you, just reiterating, mindset is so important. We can't control most of the things that happen in our lives, but we do have the ability to control how we respond. So just believing that today, it's a life skill that will change your life for the better, no matter what you do with your life going forward. The fact that you're here today, you've been met with challenges in your lives, you've all risen, you all pulled through, you showed up. Carry this with you that an example that you can carry into the rest of your life and really make the world a better place. And take this experience knowing that you can rise, let it serve you, you're going to have more challenges. And know that you can and will rise to the challenges and you can help others do the same. You have so much to give to this world. Just being here in this short amount of time and hearing some of you speak, I am uplifted. There is a lot of people in this world that fall into hopelessness, and I'm sure everyone in this room has been there. We all know dark spaces we can all go into. And it just doesn't have to be that way. You don't have to get stuck there. That's the main thing. So you've done something amazing here, and just let that be the fuel for what lies for you ahead. <laughs> something that... Um, has really helped me get through some hard times. These are, I guess it's, it's really the, one of the key things that's helped me not, or be able to get out of bed, I would say, and then feel like connected to the world around me is to just keep learning, stay hungry, and then keep shining and allow your brightness to empower others. I'm telling you, I can feel the good energy coming from all of you, and it's really encouraging. So I ask that you use your education, everything you have overcome to make a difference in your community, make people feel accepted, and pour back into your community. So with that, well done. Class of 2022, you are conquerors. You did it. Next, we'll move to the uh, certification of graduates. So I'll call up, we're working that direction. I'll call up uh, Matt Smith, our associate superintendent. Well, good morning. This sounds like, this was it? This is Options Academy graduation, correct? Good morning. I realize that in every graduation ceremony, people say, shh, 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 I'm just telling you, this is a celebration. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give these folks a round of a hand.
My name is Matthew Smith, and I am the associate superintendent, the proud associate superintendent, actually getting ready to move into the interim superintendent position, and I could not be more humble and grateful for the opportunity to actually uh, present this class, the graduating options class of 2022. I do have a, a formal script to present this class, but before I do, I it would be remiss if I did not recognize there are folks that show up day in, day out in this community, in our buildings, in our hallways, in our transportation department, in our cafeterias, and in our classrooms that are the better angels, right? You've heard the phrase, when you go to a fight, you bring your better angels. I'm telling you right now, education equity and educational justice is the greatest, single greatest, social justice issue of our time, and these better angels show up every single day. If you are a Des Moines Public School staff member, please stand and be recognized as the better angels. Thank you. And now for their counterparts, the better angels and family and friends of whom which this would not be possible. All you family members, mamas and daddies and grandparents and friends, stand up and be recognized, every last one of you. And now certainly, last but not least, I do have to say this. What you've heard today on this stage, you need to soak that in. You need to put that in your soul, put that in your heart, put that in your mind and take that with you. Because these words of inspiration are what will help carry you through. And here's the irony, and i got to say this before I actually present you. The irony is, we're up here to give you words of inspiration, and we are looking at you, and dead gummit, you are the inspiration. You are the hope. You are exactly what Des Moines needs. You are exactly what this state needs. As unique and beautiful as you are, as creative and intelligent as you are, you are exactly what you need. You are our hope. You are our inspiration. Good job out of you. All right, none of that was on my script, just so you know. And so now here's the formal script. I'm super excited. On behalf of the Options Academy staff, administration, and the community of Des Moines, I am honored to confirm that the members of the Options Academy class of 2022 have met the requirements established by the state of Iowa and our Board of Education and have demonstrated all the qualifications to receive a certificate of graduation from the Des Moines Public Schools. As interim superintendent, I proudly commend to the Des Moines Public Schools Board of Education for presentation of diplomas, the Des Moines Public Schools Options Academy Class of 2022. Get it started. I'll call up to the stage, to the mic, Ryan Ely.
And now, the moment you've been waiting for. Jackson David Barker. Gage Bowens. <laughs> Kaylin Brewer. <laughs> Brianna. May Birch. Trajan Calloway. <laughs> Carl Carmen. Mary Grace Cecil. Julian Chicas. Beyonce Davis. David Dornbush. Our class speaker, Ella Fredrickson. Priscilla Gallegos. Christian Garcia. Aiden Glass. Diego Gordillo. Kavion Grady. Christina Guzman. May Harbor. Kara Leilani Heffel. Edna Hernandez. Jose Hernandez. Crystal Hawkart. Travante Darnell Holmes. (laughs) 
Khalil Ashan Jackson. Shair Jenkins. Dennis Kawaku. Presley Annabella Kraber. Brooke Lester. Ronnie Lewis. Carlos Lopez. Cooper Evelyn Maine. Dwight March. Rose Martinez. Aiden McCabe. Jeffrey McDonald. Valentine Malero. Crystal Marino Vivar. Joseph Miller. Alexis Miran Lopez. Henry Mitchell. Brian Nelson Lind. Ariana Marie Nedeletsky. Taylor Nicoletti. Big breath, big breath, big breath. Marcelia Ortiz. <laughs> Bailey Penninger. You want Cat or Catalina? Catalina Ramos. <laughs> Trey Trey Robinson. Daniel Robles. Nicholas Rocha Hesser. Just wait, wait one second. Escar Roan Garcia. Alicia Sanders. <laughs> Katie Saravia.
Keanu Sleeping Bear. Ranji Stallworth. Will Deja Taylor. Zach Thompson. Junior Togba. Elsie Vasquez Awayo. I was missing someone. <laughs> Yesenia Vasquez Rodriguez. <laughs> Leisha Walker. Evelyn Way. <laughs> Tiaja Williams. Tiaja. <laughs> Last and not least, Jasmine Woods. They came out of order the last four people, so I was like, I know their names, but they threw me off. And one kid was on there, but then wasn't there. Like, stick to the front. Yeah. <laughs> he called them. Oh, I want to, like, stick to the front. Don't go, don't get. Okay, just a couple things before we conclude. Uh, family and friends, please stay seated till. The, the graduates are all released out. You can meet with, meet with them uh, out front on the lawn here in just a minute. There are many people that have supported you in the journey. I'd like to thank the staff at Options Academy, their commitment and their passion for our students. I'd also like to thank our community partners, starts right here, Urban Dreams, that mentor our students and provide additional support as well as other community partners that, that team with us on a day-to-day -day basis. Without you, this day may not have arrived for many of our students. So I want to thank you for your participation and your passion and your support of all of our students. Please give them a round of applause. I'd also like to thank I'd also like to thank our friends at Roosevelt High School for their for their support this morning. High school graduation is the first of many accomplishments that you will experience. I want to leave you with this quote. When you take risk, you learn that there will be times when you succeed and there'll be times when you fail, and both are equally important. It is important to learn from both of these experiences. Graduates, please move your tassel from the right to the left. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege to present the Options Academy Class of 2022.